hello welcome to my channel once again once again i have a question that i want to ask why is it that so many african youth are so desperate to leave africa or their home country let's say nigeria ghana cameroon senegal all these other places Charlie, when i see some of these videos it breaks my heart it breaks my heart a lot because there is a nigerian that i've seen on tiktok he posted a video and he was holding about five passports meaning he has renewed his passport like five times he wants to travel like desperately he wants to travel out of nigeria and he is not even getting the chance to even travel and when you go to his comment section after posting the video he came and wrote in the comment section that even if it is ghana even if it is ghana he just wants to leave nigeria bro i understand this to be honest i really understand this because i'm a youth and i know what some of the youth are going through yes but let's ask ourselves who caused this who caused it it is this same our leaders and us as a people or as citizens of these countries in africa we caused it because how can you be so desperate to the extent that some people go through the desert they go through the mediterranean sea let me show you a video of Ghanaians who were on the sea and it seems like they have been documenting their journey through the desert to the sea and eventually they had a rescue team that was coming to rescue them and they were happy like they've been able to even reach that far all because they want to leave their country English. Yeah, it's just crazy what is happening in africa and what is happening to african youth if you are not african even if you are african but let's say you were privileged to be born in a wealthy family these things that these guys are doing you will not understand or sometimes you sit down when you you think about your life that you are growing especially the guys the men you are growing 20 21 22 23 24 some people are even 30 and you look at your life and you feel like charlie all your colleagues they are doing something and they are achieving something in their lives but you it's like you are not going anywhere you are just stuck at one place trust me when you see something like that no matter what something will push you to do something that you feel like it will help you in your life so some people will go wayward and do the the ritual thing or the sakawa and the and the yahoo yahoo thing and some of them too 
will go. They don't have the money. The money to get a plane ticket and even the visa. They don't have it. So all they will do is use the desert and the Mediterranean Sea. It's just sad, man. It's just sad. When you see some of these things, it is just sad. People are going through it. Trust me, people are really, really, really going through it. People are going through it in this life and... Man, it's sad. And the African politicians are not doing anything. Like, I always say this, they don't care. Because if they care, they would definitely, since how many years how many years now by now they have like they have done something about it but look at us they are still doing the same old thing they don't care so why will the african youth not use any any means or any route to get to wherever they feel will help them in the future because when they get to this abroad and they try their best and they get some good Samaritan or they do their things well and they get residence permit and working permit or something and they get a job. Even if it is going to be this menial, menial, menial jobs, they pay well than here in Africa. And we all know that. You can even be a cleaner in a restaurant or something and the, the payment is even far, far better than even a nurse in Ghana or in Africa. Why? It's so sad. It's so, so, so sad. Seeing our people go through all this. And the people that we voted for don't care. It's very sad. I wish something would, would change. And we are hoping that someday things are going to change. Thank you for watching. My boy, so.